Hi, so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a pour picture with a new resin. And what I've got is I've got the new, uh, well it's not new but it's new to me, resin 8. And it's an epoxy resin that's non-toxic, fast curing and um, it's perfect for resin, jewellery, geodes and coating and resin art. Now, it's not expensive. Um, it was £118 for four kilograms, which I think isn't too bad in comparison to other resins. It's a one-to-one -one mix. The only thing that does concern me is that it's got a 10 to 15 minute working time. Now, that may be okay, because actually I do work quite quickly, and it's... Um, you know that is that's not much lower than the normal so as long with that i also bought their rainbow set of mica powder and uh, i've not used that before but apparently it's very intense colors and you don't need to use a lot of it and i bought the rainbow set because that's got um those colors in it so it's got one two three four five six seven colors there's a Frey Fusion, uh, a Clementine Pod, a Pistachio, a Virtuous Violet, why well, it's virtuous I don't know but we'll find out, a Purple Passion, an Electric Blue and a Buttercup. Now I'm colour blind as you know so I have to go off the name so I have no clue what Buttercup is um, but it looks like a yellow to me and I would imagine um, it is yellow. And these are all ethically sourced natural shimmer for resin so and they come in these pots they're not great big pots but actually when I think about what mica I've bought before the pots aren't as good as quality as this nowhere near and I would say there's a bit more in there than what I would normally get for this and the mica power pigments were £16.49 for uh, the seven and along with that I'm also going to be using um, the opaque white pigment to do this <laughs> Got a bit of resin, a uh, bit of a mica on there already. I've got a bit, uh, this, this was five pounds. It's the 30 gram bottle. It's not very big, but I'm sure again, this will probably go quite a long, long way. I've prepared my board as normal. So I've got mask and tape underneath. I've pushed that on quite firmly. I'm leaning it on shot glasses because I like that and I can get a nice um, even um, support base. And I've ensured that it's level everywhere as well. Because it's really important to ensure that you're, you're level. So everything I'll be using today will be coming from Resin 8. I will put their um, website address above here as well. So that's, that's above here. So let's see how we go. So I'm going to treat this how I would treat uh, any resin. And as you can see, I've got a little pot of water here, and that's because whenever I mix resin up, I always mix it um, in some really warm water to, to um, get it going, make it easier to mix, and also it does eliminate quite a lot of the bubbles. It does help get rid of the bubbles. Now, it doesn't say I can do this, but it also doesn't say anywhere that I can't do this on here. So I think it's important that if I'm going to do this, that I treat it the same way that I would treat my normal resin. So I'm just getting the tops off. And I'm not going to mix loads up today. I'm going to mix probably 200 mils of resin. My God, these tops are hard to get off. They need a better seal method of getting these seals off these tops. Now, I'm not affiliated in any way with Resin 8, okay? They've not given me this resin, it wasn't free. I've bought it uh, the same as anyone would buy it off their website. Um, I'm not on commission of any sort. Um, I have no more to do with them than probably anybody watching this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour out 100 mils of the resin into this measuring cup and it does pour quite quickly 
which is great normally and it would be great if I could pour accurately today maybe I've had too much of caffeine let's have a look and I want to be very precise because I think it's important if to give it a review that I'm actually doing it very precisely right that's exactly 100 mil so I'm going to stand that in there to allow that to warm up and that's the resin. Always put your cap back on your resin before you use your hardener because you don't want to mix your caps up because if not, what happens is your caps will cure onto your resin bottles and then it's really hard to get them off. Here speaks a man of experience. So I'm now putting in 100 mil of hardener. And again, use a different stick do any clean up with and ensure that I've got exactly a hundred mil. I'm slightly over poured on that one. Again. Let's have a look. At the mixing stage, never mix contaminate one with the other. Right, they are both spot on. So now I'm going to put that in there. The other thing to be careful of is never allow any water to get into your um, resin because it will ruin it and when you're using resin as well and using color something to add to the color never use more than 10 percent and that's pretty standard for all resins so once that's heated up i've got a silicon mixing um, jug here that i will use um, it's an oxo one it's great because it cleans up it holds quite a lot of resin if you want to up to 500 mils and it, when it's cured it just pulls out and it comes lovely and clean and you can keep reusing it so i'm going to give those a couple of minutes just to heat up and then i will remove that resin and i'll mix it up and i'll let you know how i feel about how it mixes so i've combined my two uh, resin and hardener and they're quite nice and fluid and they are mixing really really well at the moment as you can see and so far I'm really impressed that there's hardly any bubbles in there so it says to mix it for two to three minutes so that's exactly what I'm doing I'm not going to record the whole two to three minutes of me mixing I've put some of the mica powder just a little bit probably I don't know an eighth of a teaspoon in there and I've put a little bit of the pigment white pigment in um, that one just a little bit because it says a little goes a long way because I'm going to do the background electric blue with buttercup and white over it okay so uh, when I've had this mixed up and I've mixed up the colors um, we'll start the pour so I've mixed the colours up and I have to say I'm really impressed. They're not kidding when they say a little bit goes a long way. I probably could have used half the amount that I put in there. So I would really start to take it easy um, and be quite frugal with it to start with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this electric blue on here. Um, and as you can see, it's covering, so far it's covering quite well. Uh, I don't really want any left. Now, all I've done is I've primed this piece of MDF that I've got. And the um, size of the board is an A3 size. And I get them from Amazon. They're very, very cheap. I think there's, I got about 20 for about 20 to 5 pounds. So, and I love them for using resin on i will put that the link to those in the description and i'm going to use my trusty silicon brush uh, to give this a bit of a spread and as you know it will level up and that anyway it is still quite fluid it's certainly not um gone sticky yet i have tried to do this quite quickly because of I'm conscious of the curing time, but to be honest, it's probably no different than what I would normally do. And the great thing about this is it does say it will be ready, uh, touch dry, in about four hours, which is much better than what I normally have. Now, I could have added a bit more 
of the blue mica to this or maybe some alcohol ink to give it a little bit more depth but that's why I prime the boards white because I do like that slight translucent effect um, in my resin castings because I think it shows off the shimmers and as you can see there are very I am really impressed with the fact that there's very few um, bubbles in this now I've been frugal with the amount that I've mixed up because I don't like waste and I'm always quite frugal okay so I'm now going to go in with the buttercup and I'm just gonna I've got no real pattern in mind here I don't know what that is that's got on my resin there but I'm taking it out so I'm just gonna go in maybe random places okay that's the beauty of um, resin as well it does move around quite a lot and the likelihood of it being staying in where you want it to stay is uh, pretty remote so that's on there and now what I'm going this white is excellent it's given, it was given a really bright white and I literally just dipped the stick into that opaque pigment white and I've got loads here I could imagine that's actually going to last me for quite a long time. So I'm going to go in there with a little line. Oh, I'm not doing a tremor today, which is good. Okay, a bit there, maybe a bit there. A lot of white, but we don't mind, do we? And a bit there. Right, so I'm going to just let that sit for a few minutes. Well, not for a few minutes, for a few seconds, and then I'm going to go over it with my heat gun. Now, the heat gun, for two reasons. One, um, it'll get rid of any air bubbles, and two, it will help move this around, and if it's going to create any cells, then that will help create the cells. So, as you can see, if the camera's picking that up, has popped all those um, all those bubbles lovely that's a very rich color that buttercup I'm very pleased with it And it should do some lacing throughout as well um, because this white is good for lacing so hopefully and it is I, it, that, I'm starting to be very very impressed and this is a and they're quite a small company that do this so I'd rather support a small company and their customer service I have to say was excellent they were so friendly when i spoke to them their emails were really friendly they told me when the order would come and uh, you know everything that was on the team just what you want from a company the base tiny bit of white in there a bit more of that white i'm loving this white Absolutely loving it. And that buttercup, uh, to be honest, I do think, and it, I, I shouldn't have worried about the working time. It's absolutely fine. I just think, because I saw it read, written there, I just think I worried a little bit too much, but I didn't need to. That'll do. There. Oh, look at that. That's selling beautiful all the way around there. I am so impressed with this. Resinate, you have not let me down. I certainly will recommend your products. I certainly, if this cures okay, will be buying more products from you. Um, and I, as I said, I'm not getting paid for this. This is the 
resin. I showed you the micas. The micas will last me a long time. They just go on forever. And that opaque pigment white, again, literally will go on forever. I think that's one of my all-time favourite pictures, even though I have dropped a hair in it there. Let's take that out. Um, hardly any waste. Let's see what it looks like in four hours when it's cured. Um, so far, extremely impressed. Well done, thank you. So it's now been curing for four hours. And I have to say, I love it. I really do love it. The resin has really given me a great effect. I think my issue, and that's not the resin's issue, is I probably overheated it and made it a little bit too uh, liquidy and runny, and it's kind of done that, but actually I really like the patterns it's done. The lacing has come through lovely as well. The colours are still rich and very vibrant. Resiné, extremely impressed. I would definitely give you 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, and I will be recommending your product in my descriptions of all my videos and carrying on using your products. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video as much as you can. Bye.